friends, welcome to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangi and I have been busy today. I've been running errands, uh, came home, unloaded groceries, and had to work. And so now I have a minute to come outside and walk around the Victory Garden and see what's going on and then share some plans with you. So let's go see what is happening in the Victory Garden. We're here on the porch. As you know, our chives are doing really, really well. Um, here I planted lemongrass a couple of weeks ago and nothing is happening. I don't know if it's just been too cold or if I just didn't do it right. And then over here I planted mint and I saw a couple of little tiny sprigs and now they're gone. So I'm not really sure what's happened there, um, but it's okay if these don't make it, I will use these pots for something else. Um, here's the earth garden. We don't have anything planted yet um, and we will probably till it one more time. I know that I'm going to be planting corn probably in the next two weeks or so. Also, uh, I'll probably go ahead and get the okra and squash in the ground in a couple of weeks, but my tomato plants are still a little too small and so are my pepper plants. So this tire we are actually going to utilize for our herb garden. Um, we've already got it filled, but what we're going to do, we're letting the dirt settle and then we're going to uh, come back with our own compost that we've made and we're going to fill that in before we get some stuff planted So I'm really excited to use our own compost Okay, so the runner beans that I planted haven't come up yet, but that's okay um, I'm confident that they will and then I don't know if you can see it but right along this line here we've got radishes popping up. Those are the French breakfast radishes. Um, along here I planted beets and I don't see any beets popping up yet but those take a little while to germinate so no big deal. Then in the same bed uh, right here in this corner I planted uh, what did I plant? I think I planted a oh I planted an eight ball zucchini squash. Um, it's not germinated yet, but I don't expect that it will for a little while longer. And then here is our strawberry plant. And I mean, it is absolutely loaded in blossoms. So very, very excited for strawberries. Okay, so I have two hanging pots here that I planted hyssop in. Uh, I don't think hyssop is necessarily a hanging basket kind of flower but I just threw something in um, there is nothing in this basket that I can see if nothing pops up I might just put some of my nasturtiums that I started in there but there are starts in here I don't know if you can see that but I do have several that have popped up in this bed in this pot okay this is my bed of greens I have some uh, butter crunch lettuce here. We've got some red lettuce here. I have a big open space. I thought I planted something but you know, right here in the center, but I guess I didn't, which is okay. I'm going to use that space probably for peppers. Then I have three rows of spinach that are doing well. I have three rows of Swiss chard that are doing really well. And then right here, I planted some beets. And again, they have not germinated yet, but I'm sure that they will. The garlic is still looking really good. We don't have anything here. This is going to be our strawberry bed. Here is where we have planted carrots. And um, I took the boards off because I saw sprouts. Here's a little tiny one right there. Um, but I think the other, I, I don't know. They were there and now they're gone. So I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Let's see if we can find anything over here. Let's see, our Egyptian walking onions are doing really, really well, starting to get some scapes on them. Very exciting. Okay, on this side, do I have any carrots? I don't see any. What a bummer. Um, if the carrots don't pop up, that's okay because I have some cabbage I can plant here probably. Okay, over here in this front bed, we have cucumbers planted along here. They have not germinated yet. Um, and then all through here, I have green beans. Um, and I also planted, um, I also planted icicle radishes along the front here and none of them have come up. So I don't know, 
I don't know where they are either. <laughs> I may end up having to redo this whole bed. Okay, so on my way home today from getting groceries, I stopped by a local nursery and picked up a few things. Um, so I picked up some thyme to plant in our herb garden. Look how fantastic that looks. I also picked up Italian oregano. I started some oregano and it hasn't germinated yet. Um, so, and I was impatient. So I just went ahead and picked that up. And then I also purchased some rosemary. All of these are gonna go in our tire. And then I got 12 early Jersey Wakefield cabbage plants. Um, we love cabbage. Jackie and I do. My kids don't like it so much. But Jackie and I love it in slaw. We love um, we love it cooked. We love it raw. So uh, 12 cabbages. And I think what we'll do is some of these will be turned into sauerkraut. Some of them will be blanched and frozen. Uh, in this bag, I have some onion set. Um, they're just yellow onions. They sell them by the pound at the nursery. And so I was like, you know, can never have too, enough onions. So I got that. I also went ahead and picked up this big bag of potting mix. I tore it trying to get it in the car. Um, but I have a lot of plants downstairs that are almost ready for uh, graduating into larger pots. So let me take you downstairs and show you. Before that. I turn the lights on, I kind of wanted to show you what the setup looks like right now. Just kind of give you a full picture of what we've got going on over here. Okay, so over here is my greenhouse that my mom gave me a few years ago. I have a cover that goes on it. We will probably be moving this outside in the next week or so. Um, but right now I'm using it with my heating mat um, to keep the seeds nice and warm so they will germinate. This has worked out really well. I'm really glad that we invested in these mats. I really think that they helped germinate the seeds a little bit faster. Um, so in these pots, I have pepperoncini peppers and here I have candy striped zinnias. First, peppers take a little while to germinate. Um, but yeah, pepperoncini peppers, we buy those a lot at the store, so why not grow them ourselves, right? Um, here I have a fan blowing on the seedlings and I posted about this on, I think it was Instagram and a lot of people were asking, why do you have a fan on your seedlings? Or, it strengthens the st stems of your seedlings. Um, at least that's my understanding. It makes sense to me. So um, anyway, all right. So this year we suspended our grow lights from the ceiling, which is awesome. The last couple of years, the problems that I've run into is that the plants, I had them wired at the top of my greenhouse and then the plants would get so tall and it was too early to set them out and they started growing up into the grow lights and it was just not a good situation. So by having a table and then having these suspended from the ceiling has really, um, I think has been a game changer, honestly. So let me show you my seedlings. Okay, so here are my tomato plants. Not all of them, this is some of them. Um, but you can see what I mean, like these are ready to go into larger pots. Um, so, this row here are Romas, these are pink bumblebees, these are Cherokee purples, these are mortgage lifters, and at least I think I may have accidentally moved these two, but I have it on video before I accidentally moved them, so I can double check and make sure <laughs> that that's right. Um, uh, I will probably share some of these with my in-laws. My basil looks really, really good. All of them but one germinated. Um, and then this is my cilantro. My cilantro looks really, really happy. Love that. Okay, in this tray, I have nasturtiums. They look really, really good and happy. I have one sage plant that has germinated. Um, none of the other sages have germinated and none of the oregano has germinated. Um, my dill, I have three dill, those look good. I have one lemon balm, which is fine as long as it lives, that's all I need. 
And then of course my zinnias look really good. I have three red cactus and two envy that have survived. So um, those look good. And then over here are my banana peppers. Sorry, I keep putting my arm in the way. Um, these are my banana peppers. They look good. All of them have germinated. So those are looking really good. Okay. In this tray, I have jalapenos. Um, these not, have not all germinated, but they're not done. Like here's one that's trying. Oh, I just having a hard time focusing. This one's trying to pop up. Um, that one's not doing anything yet. So I've got a few that haven't come up yet. So if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is all I get, I think we'll be okay. Um, and then I have eight California Wonder Bells that are doing really well. Okay, in this tray, um, again, I accidentally dropped this tray, and so now I don't know which squash is which. One of these is a white scallop, and one of these is a green scallop. I'll just, I'm planning on using one of each, out of each one. The rest of them I'm either going to give away or pitch. Um, these are all Roma tomatoes. Every single one of those are Romas. And then, and then here I have my marigolds. I brought these in when we had a hard freeze and I've just not set them back out yet. Um, but yeah, these are doing really, really well and I'm gonna have to transplant these soon because I plan on putting them in the garden. I don't plan on leaving these in this pot. So that is our grow station set up. Uh, over here in this, uh, on this bookshelf, we just have, I have my seeds. Um, I fill that up with water to water. There's some um, seed starting mix that I still have left over. I have some pots and trays and, and things like that. So that is what that is.